Hello Virgo, <clears throat> this is your reading for May 1st through 15th. So, thank you for being here. If you are new, thank you for returning. I know I've been gone for a while. I've been working on a lot of projects. The first one, I'm so happy to say, are new moon and full moon worksheets, which are available on the website. Also, check out the new moon, full moon readings I'll be doing now to accompany those worksheets to help you manifest and do some self-care because that's all that I'm here to help you with, you know. Um, I don't label myself as a fortune teller or anything of that nature. I am here to help you do self-care work. That's what I am. I'm a healer. That's it, okay? So, we are going to dive right in and pray. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy, universal energy, what do you have for Virgo for May 1st through 15th? Um, please allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space. As above, so below. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> So Virgo, let's see what we have for you. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Have music going in the background I hope it's not loud Virgo okay <clears throat> conflict um so there may have been conflict in your past you're working on healing and moving forward that's why this is in the past okay it's in the past because there's disagreements that is confusion with your path and where it is that you're going what it is that you have been dealing with and the only way to move forward from that is healing plus this week or this, the, during this time span, you have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is all about victory, okay? All about being in a good spot. This is where you're going. You're going towards victory, happiness, growth, things like that. Moving forward, okay? Winning, being a winner, being a winner, okay? So, this is you, Virgo. <clears throat> Taking care of home life, taking care of your career, doing everything that you need to do. Why are you doing that? You're working towards being a stronger person, okay? I feel like you're very set in your life, right? Like things are going well, things are going good. <clears throat> you're not dealing with any rigmarole. Um, I feel like I got that word from my mom for some reason. But anyway... Um, you're not dealing with any craziness. You're focused on your own life, your own pentacles, and you're growing them, right? You're nurturing the things you need to nurture to develop a stronger life for yourself, and you're going to achieve that. You're moving in that direction, right? But there's something that you're missing, okay? This could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, all right, um, that you need to make a decision about or feelings about. Maybe it's your own thoughts. Um, they're putting you in between two things, like my career is going good, what else am I missing? It could be love that you're looking for, like a new beginning to some love in your life. <clears throat> it could be. It could be that you're getting a love offer from either a... Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay, or a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay, with those two cards there. Um, I feel like the fire sign, which is your Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, is, could be someone from your past, okay, um, because of where they're going, I feel like. Um, and so also could this Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but the thing is, you're very happy where you are, Virgo. And now this is coming into your life, right? Um, I feel like it's not as a priority as your life is. It's nice that it's happening, I feel. But it's not a priority. Um, conversation is good, though. And I feel like you're okay with that conversation. And that's 
igniting the part of your emotions that needs to be ignited you know you don't feel the need to get into a relationship which is quite interesting here okay um i feel like <clears throat> When it comes to your love life, you're creating balance because you're so focused on your career life and you're so focused on yourself, okay? You're in between right now. I don't really want to get into this because I'm happy here, right? Um, I feel like towards the middle of the month, though, of May, it's going to create a little bit of confusion because you're going to get more emotional, you're going to get more emotional because maybe you're having a little downtime. They're showing me like a little bit of downtime in your emotions or needing an emotional pick me up towards the middle of the month, right? Um, and you're confused about the situation, but I see, I see walking away. Okay. I see this new love floating in and out. So it's all about the conversation. It's all about the moment. But then there's this energy of moving away from something. And we're going to see what it is. Okay. They're saying for some of you, you're going to move away from the situation because it doesn't feel like it's picking up. When it comes to the balance of the situation, the relationship, or your life, it's not that direction that you want. And remember, you're all in this energy of winning and being successful. Look at that. <clears throat> you're not going to let anything block you. You're not going to let anything be less rewarding than what it is that you've already accomplished in your life, Virgo. It, that's a beautiful feeling for you to be in. It's very comfortable for an earth sign to be in. The confusion comes in with a message or knowledge that someone is interested or someone wants to be involved in your life. You're not going to give... It's interesting because you're not going to give a lot to this. You're on your own path when it comes to your career and your own life and being an individual. Right? You're smart enough to know what to give and what not to give. You're on your own healing journey. And it's not about healing from someone else. It's just a healing journey for yourself. You know? <clears throat> You're Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You don't have much faith in that person. Okay, even though that communication is coming in, it's like, oh, that's nice. That's cute. Let's uh, meet for coffee every now and then or something like that. Okay, um, you're very strong and you're blocked from this person. And I feel like it's because you know how they are as a person and the type of things that they do. Now, if you're dealing with this Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, <clears throat> they've given you a rough road. Okay. They've given you a rough road before you may have been in a relationship with this person or a person that's dealing with this type of person, okay? Um, it's been a really rough road. And they are trying to offer you some love or attention. They're really coming towards you. This may not be that person with that sign or someone with that energy that's really coming towards you. And you've had a rough time with this person before, right? Yeah. I feel like you're closed off from that person. Okay, I feel like you enjoy the attention or the interaction of thinking that this person cares about you, you know, but you're not really going for that. Like, that's not a thing that you're focused on right now. You're not focused on either one of these, honestly, because you want something that's lasting and you know, with either one of these people that you're going to go back into a cycle with them and that's cool. That's fine. You're not dealing with it, right? You are waiting patiently for what is for you, Virgo. Interesting. <clears throat> because, like I said, you're in this winter energy and you want to win. Yeah. You don't want someone that's going to keep coming in. You don't want someone that has the fire at the beginning and then just drizzles off at the end. That's not a thing that you're interested in. 
right? Yeah, there it is. That's both people. Both situations. This person is hot and cold. Uh, this person doesn't have a lot of... They have a lot of fire at the beginning and then it falls off with this person. This person comes, 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 comes. But then they don't follow it up with anything, which is interesting, right? And, and you've tried to work with these people and you will continue to try to work with them just in case something comes, you know? But you're not going to put your all and everything into it. They have to put some, there it is. They have to put something into it as well, okay? <clears throat> I see a lot of options. You're keeping your options open about what it is that you want. You know, um, if someone's going to work with you, you're going to work with them, but they have to integrate into what you've already created, you know, um, and that's it. And I see you walking away from things that don't people that don't matter. They don't fit with you. They don't fit with you moving forward. There's blocks to love. They're not putting in that extra energy. You have this energy of moving forward, Virgo. You're a winner right now. You're doing everything you need to do. You have a new, a good career. You're moving forward. You're manifesting real things into your life and not focused on things that could be or holding on to faith on people that could be. It's about what they're presenting to you now. The stork, right? The stork is about new beginnings and that's where you are. You're all about new beginnings. There are new things coming into you. The stork does bring new things. But the stork just drops them off. You know, the stork doesn't stay and nurture them. Um, you know, that's that's the stork's job is to bring them to you. And then you have to decipher what it is that you want to do with that. And that's what I feel um, with this situation. You're dealing with what you want to do with these energies. Um, because you're in a good spot right now and you're trying to manifest real things into your life, if it doesn't feel like it's going to appropriate, which I don't know why that word came to me, that it's going to go with, oh, appropriate. They're saying like, these people are going to try to try, someone is going to have someone try to fit the mode of what they want, but you have to be clear and strong enough to see the truth. And I feel like it's with this person and you're, you're going to be able to do that, you know, because you're in this different mindset and you want to win, you want to be successful, right? Um, you used to try to fight that in the past. I feel like you're not doing that anymore, okay? You are in a new mindset. You're just a new, new different person. Let's see what your animal energy should be this week, Virgo. Whew, that one wanted to come out so bad. Oh, this is so perfect for you too, the wolf. Virgo, the wolf. Um, the wolf says, turn knowledge into wisdom. Isn't that so perfect? So turn what you have gained, the knowledge that you have learned, developed, and that's all that the pentacles do is develop wisdom and, and materialistic things, okay? And turn it into the wisdom of how you're going to make decisions to move forward. That's that wisdom right there and um, what you choose and choose not to get into, okay? Yeah, you're building new foundations because you want more abundance in your life. That's very, very clear here, Virgo. So let's pull out some love cards for you. Getting to know each other. <clears throat> because you have set such um, a precedence for yourself. Okay, um, you did some healing, you're done, you know, that's done, you're building for yourself, you're, you're creating a new type of environment for yourself within your mind, it can be done. Get to know the people that you're inviting in, whether you've known them in the past or known or just met them, okay? It's very important for you to do that. You have this new wisdom now of what you can choose to bring into your life or not you know it's not 
you don't have to do anything make the effort okay make the effort because i feel like these two people are making the effort or or I'm not going to say that. They're attempting to make the effort with you. Like to get you to put your walls down and allow them back in so they can do what it is that they want to do. But I feel like you're stronger now because you know them. You know their <clears throat> ins and outs and what it is that they do. Children talks about new beginnings and we're back to the stork again. Um, new beginnings in your life new beginnings and the decisions that you choose to make leaving your options open for new things to come in children are open to the possibilities of the world which is why we have to not shelter them but keep them safe what we'll monitor them their whereabouts and what it is they watch on tv and things like that right so it's like you're new when it comes to love you have these new beginnings but are they developing into anything right um is is it a good decision for you to choose this person right what are these blockages that you have why are there blockages there shouldn't be blockages you know love should be smooth and i feel like virgo you're in a mental space now where you're starting to understand that love needs to be smooth like the thing is you do everything you can do to make a relationship or love smooth you give everything that you give you do everything that you need to do why is it that no one can do this for you love is not meant to be a forever struggle for you and i i feel like you're starting to understand that and you're starting to come to grips with that fact um turn knowledge into wisdom okay all right so thank you so much for listening virgo i will see you next half of the month I guess. I love you so much. Love and light. Bye-bye.